Every light I own is on right now. Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Now it is no secret that I love the television program Steven Universe. And it is also no secret that in my absence from this YouTube channel, Steven Universe got freaking amazing. And of the three powerhouse cartoons that are currently airing on American television, I feel like Steven Universe gets the least amount of attention. Therefore, having just started season two, I feel like it is the appropriate time to go back and count my top 10 favorite episodes from season one. I will do my best to avoid major spoilers, but you know, there's a chance that you're gonna get spoiled on some minor things if you watch this video without having seen all of season one of the show. So just a warning, putting that out there for y'all. And now without further ado, let's get on to the countdown. Number 10, Lion 3, straight to video. In this episode, Steven's lion is trying to kill him. The end. Just kidding, it's actually a very emotional journey through which Steven finds a videotape of his mother's and we learn a little bit about Rose and what was going in her mind when she made the decision to create Steven. And it's very, very interesting, it's very heartwarming, and the ending will most likely make you want to cry. Honestly, there's about a dozen other episodes that I could have put on this spot in the countdown, but I went with this one because I feel like it captures the feel of Steven Universe pretty well. Silly and whimsical and really, really fun, but also extremely heartfelt when need be. And that is why it clocks in at number 10. Number 9, An Indirect Kiss. In this episode, Steven is upset because he feels like he let all the gems down by not being able to produce healing tears like his mother. But ultimately, through sharing his experiences with his friend Connie, Steven is able to realize something very important about himself. And that ending alone is enough to make it one of my favorite episodes. Number 8, Fusion Cuisine. This is another Steven and Connie episode, and it is not the last of them on the list. I really, really love their relationship and the way that they work off of each other. And in this episode in particular, Steven is forced to introduce his family to Connie's family. And because Connie's family is under the impression that Steven lives with his mother and father, he asks that the gems fuse into one being in order to go to dinner with them. And it is just as awkward as you would think it would be. Thanks, honey buns. You're welcome, Greg. I like this episode because we really get to see the dynamics of Steven's relationship with Connie, with the gems, and with his father all at once, thus making it a very interesting and standout episode. Number seven, Giant Woman. This was the very first fusion episode, and it was awesome. Basically, Amethyst and Pearl let it slip to Steven that fusion is a thing that they can do. And throughout the episode, Steven is just begging them to fuse because all he wants to do is see them turn into a giant woman. But it's not until the very end when Steven is in danger that they're actually able to do it. And Opal, the giant woman herself, is so spectacular, I can't even deal with it. You gotta watch this episode. Number six, Rose's Room. In this episode, Steven starts out wanting to spend some quality time with the gems, but the gems have important missions to go on. Steven then turns to television, video games, and the like in order to entertain himself, but then the gems come back and sort of ruin his alone time too. This makes Steven long for a space of his own. This is when he realizes that he can open his mother's room in the gem temple. And the room basically creates and provides him with everything he can possibly want or imagine. And it's actually pretty creepy, so this is definitely one of my favorite episodes. Number 5, Island Adventure. In this episode, Lars and Sadie long for a vacation, so Steven decides to warp them to this secluded island. But they end up getting stranded. And being stuck there sort of forces Lars, who's a very hipster, cares way too much about what other people think sort of character, to really bond and make connections with Sadie and with Steven. And it's really, really touching, really, really emotional, and it's one of my personal favorites, and you should just watch it right now. Also, it has my second favorite musical number of the series. Why don't you let yourself just be wherever you are? Number four, Mirror Gem and Ocean Gem. Now I know it's sort of cheating to include the two-parter, but this epic mid-season finale is too good to pass up. Basically, through a series of events, Steven is able to free a trap gem named Lapis Lazuli. And Lapis Lazuli, though she seems pretty evil, is actually very misunderstood. And this is sort of the first grander scale look we get at gem life and what things may have been like in the past and what they probably will be in the future. So it's really interesting and it just reveals just enough to pique your interest. And it's definitely a great mid-season finale. Number three, Bubble Buddies. SpongeBob ain't got nothing on this episode. This is by far my favorite Steven and Connie episode, and it is Connie's introduction to the series. Basically what happens is that Steven encounters her sitting on the beach, and he immediately has a sort of crush on her. 
And when a giant rock looks like it might crush her, Steven rushes in and makes an impenetrable bubble around the two of them. And the episode is all about them trying to get out of the bubble and nothing is working. But like most episodes of the show, by the end there's some genuine bonding between characters and it's very, very sweet and very, very touching. And it's just one of my favorites. I can't really explain why. Number two, On the Run. In this episode, Steven runs away from home with Amethyst, and there's this great reveal about how she came to be and what events led to her creation, and it's really, really emotional and really, really epic, and it provides this great sneak peek into what's to come with the series. And just like the Lapis Lazuli episodes, we get just this tiny hint of what has happened on Earth in the previous years involving the gems, and it's so awesome, and it leads to so much speculation, and it's just a great overall episode. I also have a review for it, so I will link that down below. And number one, if you haven't guessed it by now, you obviously haven't been paying attention. It is the two-part season finale, The Return and Jailbreak. These are the episodes in which the dominoes, placed so carefully throughout the entire series, come crashing to the ground, and we get to see the gems genuinely scared, which is something that doesn't happen very often. We get a glimpse at the technology and sort of an idea of what modern-day gem world is like, and it's very frightening to think about. We also get some shocking twists and turns and a great reveal that I wouldn't dare ruin for anybody. But yeah, it's genuinely one of the most entertaining 22 minutes of television that I've ever seen in my life, and it will definitely, definitely get you excited about Steven Universe if you weren't already. And yeah, that is my top 10 favorite Steven Universe episodes from season 1. Feel free to let me know in the comments of this video if you agree or disagree with my list, and I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye!